Hello, and my name is Peyton, and today I'm here with Hart, and we're um, here for Toro's very first Let's Let's Build. Hello. Um, today we are building the Soul Rock Clock Tower, which is for an event we're going to have on our server. The um, website for it is down below. You can apply to be whitelisted. It is an RP uh, Pixel Mom server. It's a lot of fun. So, um, this is going to be for our next event, which is actually today. Um, it's just essentially a, a follow-up from last week's event. We do a weekly event uh, just to players engaged. Right now we're working on... Okay, let me explain. Yes, it's half build at this point. We had, had a mistake with our camera on the first shot, and it wound up messing up all the screens, so you get to join in halfway through. Uh, currently we're working on just some juts out of the main base and their roofs, and then some detailing up the um, hourglass column. Yeah, we decided to have an hourglass column kind of thing for the hold of Solrock on top, which you will see later. Um, we used the colors of white, gray, um, orange, and yellow. We used orange and yellow because that's the color of Solrock. Um, and then white just makes it look really pretty and nice and it ties it all together with the extra gray added in. And then the, we used the gray because there is an orange and yellow um, half blocks and... Mm, yeah, we're, we're going to go file a formal complaint with Mojang that there's not enough color colored blocks. Um, right now, I'm working on the inside. We spent a whole lot of time detailing the column. It's a lot, mm -hmm. bunch of small details. You can't really see them here, but on the server, it, it we, we knew it had to be very, really important to get this small details. Um, she's working on these little parks, and I'm starting up on the actual soul rock up here, which was... Mm -hmm. Which was, which was, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of a way to put this, um, well, um it eloquently. It was, it was, like uh, it was ele eloquent, to, to be as eloquent as I can, this was a pain in the ass to make. Um, <laughs> because, uh, now making, making spheres in Minecraft isn't, is already kind of a pain, but this was this weird oblong, um, I don't know, soul rock face. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's because it's Solrock and it's, you know, the shape of the Pokemon, it's kind of a flattened circle, as I said, and so it had to be, like, circular on two sides and then oval on the opposite two. And, right, and then we're... well, if you notice down in the bottom where I had the parks, I originally had a bunch of flowers. And then... And... Um, I added parks um, with little with water. I added ponds with water um, because I thought that was very nice and aesthetically pleasing. Uh, me and uh, World Edit World Edit has the inferior copying and pasting. This has been quite the discussion I've or argument I've been having with myself, um, and everyone else has had the pleasure to listen to me argue with myself. Right now, we're beginning to work on the um, I guess they're the sunbeams off of the Soul Rock. Um. <laughs> These were not the funnest things to build. Each one, <laughs> the blades took me about two to three tries a piece. But they did come out looking very nice in the end. Yes, they did. They looked very nice. Um, you did a good job with that. Um, now on this one, I know I had this one. I definitely had to start over. I, in fact, you'll in a minute or two, you're going to see me just take my take my little world edit axe and delete everything, all the work I had. There it was. Um, started over the second time, and I think I got it on this try. Yeah, or I think you gave did. up trying to oh. gave up trying to be successful on this try and just was acceptable <laughs> whatever I had. And while you were doing that, I was just running around doing some detail. Uh huh. Um. Then uh, she's about to start. Yeah, she starts on that uh, second middle uh, smaller sun blade. Um. Let me see. Cardinal and probably the larger ones are the cardinal ones. I don't know what the smaller ones. I can't remember what those are called. Yeah, like uh. I said, me and World Edit's copy and paste don't get along well. And it's the here, inferior copy and paste tool. <laughs> and here I started working on the clock face. Um, I ended up pushing it back in because it was too far, to far out, and black just didn't really work well with the build, so I changed it to the stone brick since we'd used that before. Um, and then I was starting to tinker around with some of the detailing, and it just wasn't right. And I finally figured out to add some like shadowing effects and then change the little hands to iron um, and get rid of the black. Um, and I added some, s uh, some steps to just like circular curve it out a bit and then I started working on another blade as Peyton is working on the one on the top. I'm trying to think of the sciency name for that. Uh, anterior I think. Anterior is top. Um yeah I'm working on the anterior um blade about to I think I just <laughs> after a few attempts managed to copy and paste the actual the 
uh, whatever direction that is laid. And <laughs> I think, yeah, that's essentially for the most part of the clock tower. And then we had to go in just today and add all the interior detailing. Mm -hmm. And we added a path and finished the archway in the front and some detailing on the base. Um, and the path Along connects to the city closest to uh, the tower. And it set up down there to really... have an event and open it up. So. And if you look really closely, you can... Oh, it's gone now. Oh, it's back now. Hello. Um, <laughs> if you look really closely, you can see the lights are actually rotating underneath it. Uh, this is actually a soul rock and a lighthouse and a clock tower so we made we went all out with this thing yes, we <laughs> in did. terms of what we can fit into one build well all if right, you want to come play with us you can go apply to be whitelisted at toroleague.com thank you for joining us for our first let's build see you later bye <laughs>